All right, I picked up some of this 22 Magnum ammo. I always like buying different types of ammo. This one right here is a 30 grain, moving at 2,200 feet per second. Got a polymer tip. CCI makes some of the best uh, ammo for like 22s and um, 22 Magnums. Real reliable ammo. I never had any issues out of none of the CCI. So um, I'm gonna take the chronograph back out and you know do some ballistic tests with these. These was like eighteen dollars, kind of expensive. I think it was eighteen dollars. I'm not sure, but I got them from uh, Fin Feather and Fur. I seen them there, and I always like getting different types of ammo. Anyway, some of the other ones I got. These right here is 40 grain jacketed hollow points. Let's see if this is open. No, oh, that's a brand new. I probably got another one open on there. Just a hollow point tip. You can see it right there. When I first got into 22 Magnum, this stuff was super cheap. It was like you can get 50 rounds under $10. Then it went up. And now it's kind of trying to come back down, but not like it was before. I got some, but I wish I'd have bought thousands of it. But um, I only had the one count was messing up at the time. So now I'm trying to get that um, uh, AR platform and 22 Magnum, get more velocity out of it. I seen two options. Bear Creek got one that uh, been on back order, and then is a bolt action one. The Bear Creek one is like a 16 inch barrel and then I seen the bolt action one is like a 21. And they both about the same price. What is this? This is a um, jacketed hollow point also. I got some videos of testing some of this out. I throw those in the end screen. These be at Walmart. These are the same thing as that I think. Yep, same thing. You can get these uh, 125 packs like they went up, but they like 20 something. That's 125 and those are paid like 18 or something by itself. What is that, same thing. Then we got these right here, Total Metal Jack is a same weight, they just, um, no hollow point in it. Then we got these VMAX rounds right here. And they got the red tips. Then we got some V-Shock rounds. And they like a hollow point. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah, I might have to open that. That's a hollow point. And I know I got some other ones, but they in a different box and this box that's all i got of these and these is uh walmart was having these for super cheap but um these run now in the kill texas i got it redone sent it back to kill tech and they uh redid pretty much everything so it's basically a new gun i got it used and it wasn't running none of this stuff couldn't get through a full mag or nothing but this is some of the stuff in the like the bulk ammo that they don't prefer you to run in the Keltec, but it do run now it runs but every now and then you might get a little issue but i only got a couple boxes of those left so i don't even buy those no more i don't even see these being in a store but it's it suggests you not use those and then whether you use the cci or something like that but yeah i'm gonna um, take these out probably a few of these out Run it on this chronograph. That's some of the rounds I captured of the 22 Magnum. I really like the 22 Magnum way better than the 22 Long Rifle. I see semi automatic and it's like a 21 inch barrel. I'll probably get that one to see. Um, it's like a hunting style rifle. I'll probably get the most uh, feet per second out of that. So that's what we'll do with these uh, different types of ammo and just see see what the numbers is but i'm curious to see what is coming out the Keltec because the Keltec is like and Keltec got a longer 22 magnum too i forgot what it's called the model but they got one with a longer barrel too but um 
the handgun is probably three and a half, maybe four inches inch barrel, probably three and a half. So we'll do that soon. I see your motivation, I see your movement is in effect, and I fucking love that shit. <laughs> Let's get it.